Good morning, folks. This is a quick recap on risk management. I had a lot of questions last night about BA, even intraday, as we picked up BA in the morning for a long 230 calls for next week. However, it came back down intraday after we um, exited partial after that long push. So I just want to get back to the basics of playing options. You know, options are a derivative of a ticker. And we are playing an option that is attached to, in this particular case, BA. Therefore, both of them will not behave in the exact same way. One has a higher risk, but a much higher profit potential. If you're only playing the equity, the common stock on BA, the risk is lower. However, the profit potential is much lower as well. So look at this chart. We alerted um, BA in the morning as it crossed this line. This line was the height of the, of the pre-market and we entered long uh, at uh, 350 for the uh, 230 calls. Why? Because the um, electric fix was approved by the FAA. FAA had approved the electric fix. We have travel ease going on and we have other news such as additional orders. And we had found a very low bottom on SPY. And SPY is, uh, sorry, Boeing is a SPY component and a DAO component as well. So basically looking at this entry was moving up towards this area of resistance. This is where we took partial exit. Now the end, and three was 350 and we exited at 8485 partially for 39 percent which is not bad right but the idea was to have a partial exit to ease the possibility of risk so lower your risk and look at what happened it came down to a support line tested it here and tested it here again, and then it dropped below. Our entry point was here, and look at what happened. It went to support, tested our entry point twice. So if you had been on weeklies, this point would have been the rejection on twice, could have been the exit for your runners, saying, well, it's not going on. It's not gonna happen now, so let's take them off. Basically, you would have been break even on the runners here, and that would have been safe. However, the reason for going in long on this one was not only about FAA, about the travel restrictions getting uh, lifted in additional orders. No, there was something else going on. Something else, someone, the previous day, right here, bought 795 thousand contracts on next week's expiration so that's above 2.6 million dollars for next week's expiration betting that it will close above 233.5 for him to be him or her sorry about that person to be break even so basically Either that person sold at that point for $2.6 million as an hedge on a sh uh, or, or something, but I, I believe that this person probably bought the idea, right? And I'll show you why. This was done at 235, right? This was done at 235 um, in the afternoon on the previous day. And look at the previous day. Where this was is exactly here, 235 here on that double bottom. So basically bottom, bottom, would you be bearish here sell, saying I'm going to sell? You would have sold here, no? So basically this person is probably bullish, knows something, 
and you see that over this period we had news about the FAA going to lift the electrical problems um, and now we have this morning travel restrictions going to be lifted even more so we have someone betting 2.6 million dollars on next week's expiration needs to close at 233.5 or higher for me to be uh, green on the play so basically if you look at this line where that person played was support support came down to test and then support again so basically your runners when are you going to sell well we have support that is pre-market look at this line here this is higher than this not by much but it shows you there's support there. So basically we bounced here. Market was getting a little pullback after this long push in the morning, but we found a bottom. So basically this becomes your bottom for your runners. And then we start running again. This is next week's expiration. We have time on our hands because there's, you know, t today and next week before we go back to 230 plus. So, like I said, if we had been running on weeklies, taking today's expiration, this would have been different. But just as a risk management, you have to look at why you're entering. We were entering on news and on huge volume for next week. Someone betting $2.6 million on next week's contract. Uh, next week's contract. That's That should be taken in. Taking, um, into consideration so remember things to remember here look at the entry point the support if you want to leave on support that's fine but final support is the same final support that you would have played if you had been playing commons obviously if you look at your PL you're deep red here however exiting partial makes you a lot less red than if you were holding the whole thing and eventually it moves up towards the overall plan i hope this helps and i wish you a great friday